My first impression of Claire was that she looked awfully young for her age and that she had a rather small head. I think Claire's first impression of me was that I was a loud know-it-all and that I had a rather big head. <laughs> and as it turns out, these first impressions remained accurate. <laughs> and neither of us has changed very much over the past 16 years, apart from that one of us has started to go grey. <laughs> Now, I couldn't give you an insight into my friendship with Claire without mentioning my favourite trait of hers, and it's one that Paul's already mentioned, and I'm sure Jack's well aware of. Claire is incredibly stubborn. Once Claire makes up her mind about something, that's it. For example, Jack, I'm pretty sure this wedding would have still been happening if you hadn't proposed <laughs> in Crete. <laughs> but what comes with Claire's stubbornness is her fierce loyalty. She's loyal to the places she loves, the music she loves, and most importantly, the people she loves. You simply cannot convince Claire that there's a better place in Dublin, or a better girl band than Lil Mix. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything I could do that would see Claire not having my back. So if you can't already tell, I'm really quite fond of Claire. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled for you, Jack, that you can now call her your wife. <laughs> Jack, as I've had the pleasure of getting to know you over the years, I do fully understand why Claire has chosen you to marry. For what you lack in height and shoe size. <laughs> you make up for in generosity and kindness. Seriously though, it is really hard to find things to fault him for. I can't even diss the Crocs because I wear them too. <laughs> And for every story I could tell about you being an absolute steaming bomb scare, <laughs> I could tell several about how nice and thoughtful you are. And the love that Jack has for Claire is clear. There have been so many times when Jack's asked me for insider knowledge so he can plan the perfect gift. But what I love most is that Jack's love and kindness for Claire extends to her friends and family. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in this room who owe Jack a favour or two. <laughs> if I had to use two words to describe Jack, it would be nice guy. That's very closely followed by annoying drunk. <laughs> In all seriousness though, Jack, all a girl wants for her best friend is to be with someone who treats her the way she deserves. And I know that you do, and I trust that you always will. <laughs> all right, Claire, I'm so lucky to call you my best friend. I'm a firm believer of soulmates, and as much as I know you've found one in Jack, I know you've found one in me too. Just keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Your love and happiness is evident to everyone around you, and I'm so looking forward to continuing to be part of your lives as you go into your next chapter as husband and wife. So could everybody please raise a glass to Claire and Jack. Woo!